this is Clint Branch. I'm with Shockwatch, and today I'm going to talk about how you can use our Shockwatch indicators to monitor your shipments. We have an example of a typical shipment here in which you have a product suspended within a foam system within an outer shipper. Okay, There are a couple of ways in which the Shockwatch indicator can be used to monitor this configuration. On the inner product, a Shockwatch clip configuration can be used to be placed on the actual product. In this form, the shock watch then is sensing and responding to the actual impacts that are affecting the product itself. So in this scenario, <clears throat> we would peel and affix the clip to the box. We would attach the clip to the box adjacent to an edge or a corner. We do this because that is the most rigid areas of a corrugated container. The middle of the box is prone to flexing. Any flexing that occurs can be, can be dissipating to the shock and not give a true representation of what shock has occurred. So in this scenario, we would then place the product within the foam system. Okay, we would close. In that scenario. Now, the shock watch label configuration can then be mounted to the outside of the container, such as this. Again, we would place it adjacent to an edge or a corner. And again, for the purpose of having a rigid mount. As you see, the center of the box is flexible and would, would serve to dissipate or dampen any shocks that occurred. So in this scenario, the label is serving as a monitor for mishandling, whereas the clip that's put on the product is serving as a monitor for damage. <clears throat> 